So first of all, could you share more details about Synchronous collaboration with Apple? What are the main goals of using brain signals to control devices like iPhone or Vision Pro? It's very exciting, the relationship with Apple. Uh, basically, it's called Human Interface Device, HID, and it's a type of Bluetooth protocol, like a settings for Bluetooth. So it's a native input into recognized by Apple, but it, it will be an industry standard that will enable BCI companies to send control signals directly from the brain to engage with the system in a very native brain way. Up until this point, we've had to be tricking the Apple device into thinking the signal's coming from a keyboard or a mouse. So now it's coming directly from the brain. Last year, Synchro announced plans to integrate ChatGPT into its BCI system. What's the progress so far? And uh, how do you see AI shaping BCI's future? I think the future is going to be multimodal AI, taking information from the environment and then providing prompts to the user. And the BCI is the mechanism of decision-making, of control, of your will. So I think there's a very natural synergy between BCI and AI. But I think the future is going to be the use of uh, unsupervised learning techniques to take the brain data, the unstructured brain data, and begin to abstract features that represent um, cognitions from the brain. China has been making progress in BCI development. What do you see China's role in this field? And is Synchro open to potential collaboration with Chinese partners? China's growing very quickly. There are several BCI companies that are emerging, and it looks like the, the government has a very clear strategic view on this technology being important for, for China. So what I'm seeing is um, very well organized strategic mandate to drive this field forward. It looks to me like the field of BCI is moving very, very quickly in China. So how close are we to make BCI tech widely available for people with severe mobility issues, both technically and commercially? So there's no company in the world that has yet have approval for an implantable BCI for commercial cells. So no company is yet selling. The first use cases are for people with injury or disease, especially paralysis or neurological impairment. I think it's going to take some time until the technology goes from being used in people with injury or disease until it comes to a more consumer broad market. And my view is that um, for the technology that requires open brain surgery with a craniotomy, it's very challenging to scale that to a mass market. Our view is that the use of catheters means that you can do a 30-minute outpatient procedure for these technologies to be inserted into the brain, the same way a stent can be inserted, which means uh, millions of people can receive that rather than tens of thousands of people. So my view, that's what Synchron is building, but I do think that will become available for a very large number of people, but I don't think until the 2040s. Do you think brain-controlled consumer tech could go mainstream, I mean, beyond medical use? I, I do think that if it's safe and easy to use, it will enable us to use our brains in a way which is much better than normal. And so I do think there'll be a drive for many people to be wanting the technology. But I, people thinking this is happening very soon, I don't think it's happening uh, very soon. But because AI is ramping up very quickly, um, the ability to deliver technology into the brain is improving. I do think there'll be a quick ramp of the technology.